going. Now, while we get, I'm actually really curious. I'm going to say to the crowd right now, if you like Kerbalicious, give us some noise. All right, that's not too bad. But if you like the fox, give us some noise. All right, so it sounds like the, I think the crowd slightly favors Fox, but Kerbo's got some love as well. Cabal is definitely a character that can get the job done. Now, I wonder, on this loser side, is Kerbo going to be warmed up? Is he going to be aggressive? He can't drop a single Nomad Dash because Fox will make him pay for it. Oh, or he can just do it like that. He didn't even have a break, and that was just a hard read on Kerbo's part. Got to watch out for that grounded gas blast. If you don't do the instant there, that's uh, not a great situation to be in, especially against Sonya Blade. You can see that. I don't want to say the fear, but Kerbo really having the respect of Sonya, right? He is content just going for so many gas blasts because he just needs to keep this character as far away as possible. Now, as long as possible. Here's the interrupt right there. If he goes forward, more into overhead. If you get the good read on that, you're going to get a full combo, especially if you got a fast jab. Sonya with one of the faster jabs in the game. And there's that wake up reversal again, but it did make. I mean, I don't think. I'm not sure if it reverses the inputs, but at the very least, it did make Kerbo dash in the wrong direction. Yep, oh, there we go. Me and Burn Ring Blast just so you can't crouch it, just to get that guaranteed bit of chip damage, and Sonic Fox is going to take this first round. Full screen game, though. Kerbo does have a little screen, build some of that bar up. If I did, you can build the break by the time your opponent gets in. You're going to keep yourself a lot safer. He does have Sonic Fox back to the wall. With it. I don't think he even wants corner pressure. I think he's just no. content to be play the game mid-screen. Just don't give him the space. Well, Cabal doesn't need the corner to be effective. That's always been what makes the character so strong. Anywhere on screen, he's in control of the situation. And another interruption. Sonic Fox. With the awareness. Young man reactions. Wow. That was beautifully approached by Sonic Fox. That dash block, dash block, dash block. And the second he got in range, the meter burn cartwheel. Ooh. This isn't going to be over, but one more opening might be. Oh my what? god! Art kick! Hell, oh look, my that's it. goodness! He's dead. And that's Roy. it. One game on the board already. And he gets the fatality this time! You know he spent the whole time in the crowd going, How do I do it again? There it is. Now we got it. I mean, it took like five goes, but we got there in the end. So game number one, I've got to say, that was, that was good fashion. Mm. Convincing fashion. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Kerbo, still. Looking in good shape, but at the end of the day, he is in loser side. And it's historically in the Netherworld community, it has been quite difficult to, to not only win grand finals against Sonic Fox, but to do so when you've got a reset in first. It's historically been quite a task. Absolutely. And I feel like of all the characters that can really bring it to Cabal, I think Sonya really is one of those characters because of mobility, because of aggression. But, you know, any character in the game, if they block that down forward to military stance, you kind of have to hold it because it is so plus. All of the on-hit things to you know, deny the wake of attack situation, deny armor situations because she's so advantageous. Cabal has to hold that much like everyone else in the game. Yeah. Has up the patience. I love it, Kerbo. He's managing to hold himself back now. He's trying to bait it out the best he can. There's the low. Yep, at any point he can go for the overhead strike or the low buzzsaw. It is going to be somewhat of a mix-up. Although a little bit reactable. I know the bustle is a bit quicker. I would say Fox is definitely not uh, been getting hit by too many of that. Even though it is a mix-up, he's definitely ready to deal with it. Here's that dash block again. I mean, the patience. He has to do wow. crazy mix-ups. Oh. Down four. Cartwheel from that range. Connected. My word. A down four cartwheel. Actually, a true combo if it catches the opponent airborne. One of the only characters in the game that can down four into special and actually still get a combo if they try and jump. Full okay. confirm turbo. There, yeah, Kerbo being on point right now. It's not easy to confirm these strings, especially when you're worrying about on block, you have to do a full cancel. It's not a very easy character to play, and that's going to be it. The game goes towards Kerbo. That he just tried to do. Oh, I don't actually know what he tried to do. He tried to do something. I don't even, even try and pretend to remember what it was. But the important okay. thing is, he got a game. Indeed. I mean, that, that's going to be good for him, his kind of like mental game, right? Knowing that he is able to take a game here with Cabal. I don't think, I mean, did he take a game with Cabal on the other side? No, he changed to it. I know he came close to, but just Fox just, you know, had the edge on him basically. But looking better in this grand finals, I think Cabal really is the solution here. Oh no, full screen doesn't connect, but keeps himself safe anyway. Oh, the jump in completely misses. Oh wow. my god, armor meets armor. Rare trade, seeing Arvid moves quite the way they do. I think he tried to flash parry, but a little bit potentially late. Got caught when the armor had actually disappeared. Oh, conversion on the gas blast. And that reset. Pressure for days. Yep, expecting an interrupt. So he goes in for the buzzsaw, goes in for it again. Yep, sweep the lane. Okay, Kerbo looking tidy. 
Not looking like he's being so afraid anymore. Oh, I had that last minute decision to go for the kick instead. That was definitely like an anti aerial distance. Yeah, if you're on point with those gas blasts, I mean, it really is so difficult to get in on. He catches. Final that, hit. that actually could be a matchup changer here, because Sonic Fox has gotten so much mileage out of the four dash in the cartwheel, and Kerbo was able to just break the armor. Or at least attack him when the armor had ran out, at least. Down ones are going to collide. Kerbo once again goes to the overhead. No interruptions have from Sonic Fox. I think he's getting a bit wary of those buzzsaws that are hitting him. Yeah, and Kerbo, he's really trying to not get interrupted here. And he crossed up. He's got a breaker, but no opportunity to spend it. Here comes Kerbo. Okay. Second game. Yeah, that's a big deal for Kerbo now. One game away from resetting the bracket already. Again, it's, it's crazy how fast these sets are going by. I mean, it, it literally is in the blink of an eye. It's such a fast game. And it, especially when you've got characters like Cabal, like Sonya, like Johnny Cage, Smoke. These characters that just make your life bar just disappear. And yeah, there's the grab. I mean, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Teching grabs against Cabal. No man dash cancel is so risky. Any meteor to hit confirm will do the job afterwards if he thinks you can attack. Oh, again, there's that last minute jump kick. Yeah. Kerbo knows he's about to be anti cross up. The jump kick just to make it a little bit difficult. It's the difference in priority. If you think they're going to anti cross up, jump kicks have a lot more priority on grounded normals. Oh, wow. That's a raw uppercut. Tries to wake up Nomad Dash, but a little bit too active on that ring blast. Wow. I mean, he gets one Nomad Dash. He's actually going to win the round. Oh, the oh jump wow. In. That jump in so nearly connected. Sky Fox not going for the anti cross up. Are we going to see a wake up? Oh my god, the double buzzsaw Kerbo is on reset point just like that. Wow, this is a full whip punish. Kerbo is switched on right now. Reset. Here comes the pressure. Back to back down three. They're going to be plus on hit. You press the button, you got to watch out. The threat of the Sonya armor is going to be oh so apparent. Now he's got two bars. Does he save it for cartwheels? Does he break? That's the question. Fox has already lost like, over half his life. He hasn't got much long left. Oh, the whip! Oh my god, the full whip! This could be it! Is he gonna be a breaker in time? I'm not sure! He does, only just though. No more opportunities, and there's the anti cross up! And straight back to player select, Kerbo manages to reset the bracket against Sonic Fox. We are down to one final, best of five, and wow! Sonic Fox has gone to Melina, the original main from MK9. Now, the question is, does he stick out for the whole set, or is this just testing the waters? This was the character that he came onto the scene with. This was the character that put him on the mat. And you didn't believe it or not, it actually was the flesh pit costume as well. He only ever used it. And now that down four. I mean, this is one of the best buttons in the game, this Melina's down four. It goes so low to the ground. Now she's tricky. She's very, very slippery and she has some deceiving plus frames. That being one of her plus on block normals. You have to, you have to kind of think to yourself, Kerbo, he's definitely used to fighting the Sonyas and all the top tiers, but how ready is he for Melina? I mean, that's a good question. How ready can you possibly be for and this character? Least of all, Sonic Fox's Melina, which was the best Melina in this game. Even at a young age, when he was competing at 13 years old, he had the best Melina. Well, we still got the knowledge. We went for the neutral crouch, the down one. Kerbo's still aware. Oh, my God. Oh, that was injustice. That was a sick mix-up. There's the Nomad Dash. Corner damage. Here he so goes. Fox again, doesn't have a breaker. This combo won't kill. Just gonna get him in mix-up potential. Oh, oh there the is. double! But it's not enough! The wake up roll! Sonic Fox on the magic pixel! Manages to steal away round number one. Wow. You can't even see his life bar. That's insane. Two, My word. The almost oh. clutch. Dive kick connecting strong. And oh my god, there's the last minute mix up. Sonic Fox is not afraid. How has he still got a Melina that's good? He's not been playing her all day. I mean, how does he still remember all this? This is insane. I thought for sure he would have just pre prepared his Sonya. And he crossed up. Plenty more work left to go. Sonic Fox not going to be too worried about getting one bar out of Kerbo. It means he's got no bar. Doesn't need it. Right, there's the punish. Melina's ball roll actually was quite specific. You know, you actually couldn't punish it on the ground like you could other buttons. It had to be while she was in the air. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, that, that jumping connected clean. He definitely wasn't ready for it. That should be a punish. Yeah, there's the break, but... Oh my god, one more hit for the wake-up bus saw. Instant start-up. Meaty jump kick for the plus frames. Oh, oh my wow. god. No fear. Kerbo just says, screw it. And goes straight for the Nomad Dash. That's going to take him around too. Dude, between rounds, these guys are giving themselves some cheeky looks. Like, Indeed. they really are. There's so much, like, charisma on the stage between them. Wow, that raw Nomad Dash. Not afraid. 
Here comes the reset. Nomad Dash Cantors goes in for the low, because again, he's worried about the interruption. Although I do wonder what her interruption options are compared to Sonya's. I mean, Kerbo definitely remembers how to punish these. I mean, the dive kick was such a, a, a crucial thing to take away in this matchup, and Kerbo knows. Oh, wow, cancels Ooh. it. The reaction from Kerbo. See, so Sonic Fox had a really strong round one, and Steffi's starting to get away from him now. Now Kerbo has got that far. Oh, no. The down four actually goes somehow through deep jumping kick. Oh that was my interesting. Lord. This could be a huge turn of events for the game. So drop this. Is that going to do enough? Be a game. I believe so. He's going to get a reset on this. Guaranteed chip wow. damage, and there's nothing Fox can do but to try and hold up and pray that Kerbo mistimes it. All right, so Kerbo not only reset the bracket, but won the first game of the reset. You know he's feeling some kind of momentum right now. This could be huge. Cabal was definitely the best choice. Yeah, absolutely. The, the switch to Cabal has been night and day. You know, he looks good in the mirror, but it just doesn't hold a candle to how, how comfortable he seems with Cabal by comparison. Yep, goes in for the jump kick on the cross-up again, expecting a down one or something. Full combo from Fox. He had a good start last time, though, and it did slip away from him. It did, but you've already seen the difference, right? When you don't have the access to the armor, the, like, her damage output isn't oh. quite as severe. You can definitely see the difference in characters. Oh, my word. Didn't even need the deep jump kick. A forward ball connects regardless. Oh, the cancels are huge, spending bars. Oh wow, the raw roll. Sonic Fox with a huge read. Fully unsafe on block, but I think it really is risk versus reward, which is Absolutely. what Fox was known for back in the day. High risk, high reward. I think it was, oh, oh my god, speaking of high risk, high reward. I think it was his Melina that really kind of gave him that reputation, especially with the way he used to play it. Restand. Does he get it? Oh, he presses buttons. Instant break. Oh, oh my, my God! Lord Kerbalicious. He fears no one. He. Absolutely no one. Sonic who? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he missed the knee. Sorry, Fox going a lifeline here, and he will take it. Oh my word. Yeah, good dive kick. Excellent stuff from Fox. Still in it. You know, he's not getting frazzled at all. Still playing fundamentally strong, but wow, just nice. Turbo making the crazy reads. Uh oh. Oh. Good that stuff from Fox, actually, because he still has access to his bar. Didn't have to break that. Yeah, there's the situation. I love that the setups he would do where he would whiff the dive kick on purpose to be point blank to get set up. It's really smart stuff. Yeah, well, it's clearly working out for him. And he's going into this round with a full stick of butter as well. Three bars to work with. Oh, Having a breaker, jump yep. again. It's so important to have a breaker in this game. Like, it's night and day. Cancel again. Uh, the second you try and press a button, he down three. It's so demoralizing with the crush. It comes out again. He can't press buttons against Cabal when he goes for it. Okay, this round is going to be one of those crucial turning points. If Kerbo wins this and he's one game away from winning, you know he's going to be feeling it. But if Sonic can get this, 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 this one back to tie it, it's going to be so much better all around. I'm Kerbo's sure. getting some really... He's trying to punish that roll, but he's getting some really funky conversions and it's just not working out. Yeah. It's allowing Fox to keep his bar because he doesn't need to break because the combo's being dropped. So even though this is like the second game of the reset, Kerbo's actually looking more uncomfortable in this one than he was in the first. I definitely agree. There's also the chance that Sonic Fox is obviously just getting a bit more used to the character change, remembering how to play the matchup generally with uh -oh. And that huge read is basically what won him the first round, and it's probably lost him the game. Unless he can get a clean hit now, which is definitely possible. This is Cabal we're talking about. Oh my god, oh the, my pressure. the pressure. The oh pressure is lord. real. The pressure is oh, real for the NJP! The An NJP there? That was a galactic read! It's like Sonic Fox, uh... He had a success in Mortal Kombat X and he brought a few things back with him. What, Instant NJP? <laughs> Instant NJP is one of them. Hell yeah. Well, we're now 1-1 one, one after this bracket reset. We are indeed. Are we going to be trading games until the bitter end? That's what we want to find out. This is what we came here for. This is what we were hoping to see. It's going to be 1-1 one, one, Melina getting the job done. Oh no, misses completely. No first hit, not so far. Oh, and it's going to go to Kerbo. Wonderful read on the down four. If you're going to try and poke with the down four, no mad dash, just choose that up for breakfast. Oh, another big hit on the roll. I mean, to be honest, I do respect it. The rolls are unsafe, sure, but it just is it's trying to occupy that neutral space, so Kerbo just can't do, well, this, right? Oh. It's, it's trying to get him to worry about something, you know, something to, to think oh, about, so we can't Lord. just go ham. He did it again. He did it, he he did it again. But it's and oh, again, the reactions on the he jump He did it again. All right, there's the grab. Oh, my God. Or pressing buttons with the conversion from Fox. Now that's the combo. That actually looked like a drop combo before, but it just seems to be some crazy conversion. Oh, 
Yeah, really should be patient. guaranteed. Oh no, that one. he missed it. Yep. Really nice side toss timing, but there, there's the delay from Kerbo. Just this time waiting for the side toss and then reacting accordingly, rather than doing the down one preemptively. Oh, conversion. Makes you wonder oh if those God. makes you wonder if those raw dashes are really kind of putting that. that I don't want to say fear in Sonic Fox, but he's definitely concerned about it. I mean, I think they do put the fear in you. If you're against a Cabal that just is not afraid, he tried to go for the anti-air there again, didn't quite work. But if he's not afraid to go for those full screen dashes, it's a full combo into setup into pressure. You know, like the the, the reward on those nomad dashes is insanity. And there's a conversion. He's gonna build a breaker only if he gets opened up again. There's one more oh, chance! Wow. They're gonna trade one bar for two. Now, no one with any resources left, but Kerbo with the round advantage. It's pressure. Sono Fox doesn't want to give him any opportunity to breathe. And that kick. Wow! Oh my God. He just gets the meaty outright box. I mean, you really felt like that was gonna be his round to win. <laughs> Waiting for the anti cross up, but it just. It wasn't there. No, I'm showing not the respect. Quite. Makobo now one game away from taking the tournament. He's already reset the bracket. He's now up two to one. I mean, it's been the, the character change to Melina has really changed the pace of this grand finals, I feel. It's really slowed the matches down. But I mean, it needs to. Melina is, is not the character that can play at the same pace as Sonya. I mean, oh, wow. I, it kind of it really enforced just how difficult it actually was to play Melina at this level against these this tier of characters. Now, Melina, she wasn't a top five character. She had matchup issues. She was a lot of work, you know? But the fact that Fox can use this character against the likes of Cabal and, and be in grand finals and look strong is so impressive in its own right. And there you go, Kerbo looking good here again. This is going to be a full corner combo. Gets the reps. There's the setup. Oh, no! Oh. Yeah, he drops the Nomad dash. That's going to be a full combo punish, and that's why you've got to make sure your cancels are on point. Oh, I always yeah, think Fox that there's the break. I always feel like that wake up was a reaction. Like that, that's such a telegraphed up four. My lord, he oh, did it my. again. He just doesn't care. But that was a range that the down four was a threat. I think he was just trying to whip punish the down four. And that's going to be reset. Oh, oh, and this I, I like that. I like that option from Star Fox. The roll was the only thing that could get away from the chip. But regardless, Kerbalicious is now on tournament point. If he can take this round from Star Fox, he will be your combo breaker champion for Mortal Kombat 9. And he cross up roll. This is good. Signs of life from Sonic Fox. As I'm in the corner, Melina's corner damage and her corner pressure is really scary. Here we go. Oh wow. There's some weird cross up stuff going on. Really, there wasn't a block button. And he cancels again. Oh, we connect it. I love the hit confirmed. The second Kerbo saw. He was ready to hit that Nomad dash and let it rock. I mean, if you play the game, uh -oh. if you play the game at this speed, you're going to be able to hit confirm something like a forward fall. That's so impressive. Here comes the reps, and here comes the reset. This could be a tournament winning setup. Can he get out of this? Oh, oh he, he blocked it. it. He's going to bet the farm, and this should be the combo. No, he drops it. Uh oh. Has he given us oh, a all the reactions and Kerbalicious with the amazing reactions is gonna be your combo breaker 2018 champion for Mortal Kombat 9. Give some noise to our new champion. Kerbo came here to play. He called out Fox Online, he was confident, and he body bagged his way into this top eight. He had to fight for it in the top eight, but he was able to be the champion against Sonic Fox. That was the grand finals we wanted to see, but I gotta say, huge props to Kerbo for bringing his A game, but being confident from start to finish. Wow, incredible. Absolutely incredible stuff. And obviously, shout, huge shout outs to Sonic Fox for getting second place and managing to get grand finals winner's side. Obviously, a, a champion in his own right, but today, the crown goes to Kerbalicious and, and how deserved. This guy has been playing every day from February to now. I don't even know how he's been practicing, like who he's been playing against, but clearly came ready and prepared and is gonna be your winner today. I feel like that was the exact tournament we wanted to see. I had fun. It was, I mean, obviously shouts to Rick and you know, the Hado and the Combo Breaker team. Netherrealm, Netherrealm for supporting of this tournament. Netherrealm for making Mortal Kombat 9. But I mean, this was such a celebration of the game that started the journey for basically every single one of us. You know, this was our first serious game. Everyone in the background, you know, all the players up here, we all started so, with MK9. So many people that are in the community today owe 
their entire interest in competitive video gaming to this game, you know, to Mortal Kombat 9. It was this game that got us into it, and it's this game that has kept us around. It's the franchise and its continuation, and it was a straight-up honor to be able to call the action and to see this level of gameplay for what could potentially be one last time. Who knows? But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I believe we do have an award ceremony coming up soon, so we'll get you guys over to that as soon as the guys are ready. But, I mean, just, just seeing these, these eight guys on the stage, you know, what, what a perfect top eight to finish this kind of game off with. I think Kerbo's going to be feeling good about that. But no, we, we saw, I think, Chicago come out in absolute force. You know, I, I'm just looking right now. I mean, shout out to GGA, man. Shout out to GGA 100% for, for, for really... Oh, okay, okay cool. cool. Excellent. So I've just been informed, so we're actually going to be good to get this award ceremony good to go. So in seventh place, it's going to be Coalition Dan. And also in seventh place, JWE Comp Bros. Well played, guys, going into fifth now. Fifth place, it's going to be Biggs. Now I'm going to call him out, even though he's not here, I'm going to call him out anyway because, my God, he played well. It's going to be Sook in fifth as well. Now moving on into our top four, the original Johnny Cage, GGA Dizzy. And coming in in third place, the smoke player of the world, it's GGA Waffles. Now you know him and you love him, it's Echo Fox, Sonic Fox. And it's going to be your combo breaker, 2018 MK9 Grand Champion. It's Kerbalicious! Wow, the lights are going crazy too. Of course it is. Of course it is. That's all we have time for, guys. Thank you very much for watching. You guys are the MVP. Shout-outs to Netherrealm. Shout-outs to the combo breaker staff. And shout-outs to you guys for watching the action live in the venue. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You can follow us on Twitter at PD Ketchup and Mustard. Little plug right there. Woo. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you at the next tournament.